everyone, it's Lisa. Today on Doodle Draw Art, I'm gonna draw Squirt. So when I was sketching Squirt, one of the things that I noticed about him is that his face is very square. It's a little narrower at the top than the bottom, but the basic shape of his face is gonna be a little square. So let's just sketch that on our page first, and he's looking on an angle. So let's make this, uh, this face just turned a little bit on the side like this. This will give us an idea where to put it. And then we're gonna, when we draw his body, it's just gonna come down from here. His shell is gonna be coming over this way and his neck is here and his shell continues under his body this way. Now this shape kind of reminds me of a stomach. Huh? Do you know what a stomach shape is? But it's a swirl up here and a curve down here. And then he's gonna have um, one big fin reaching up in this direction one flipper and then another flipper coming down around from this side. And again, this will be another big. Um, so these two shapes here, oh, this is like a hockey stick, fat on the end. And this is a little curvier, fat on the end. And then from here, he's gonna have a little back flipper with his leg. So I really think it's a good idea. You need to do this. I'm trying to trying to teach you how to be an artist, not just make lines on a page that end up looking like your character. So what you need to do is start off with something that looks like this. I know, it doesn't really look like squirt, does it? But if you kind of see what I've done here, I've got two little legs on the bottom. I've got a flipper and a flipper up on the side. Now this one, if I see my proportions, I might decide this one's kind of hanging out too much. Do you see what I just you know what I mean by that? The shape here might need to be a little bit tighter. So what you need to do is make this kind of a sketch of your character's um, basic outline. And then we're going to go back in and do all of these fun lines and things. So he's going to have like a little, a little um, angle down like this and then slightly underneath his chin and then back up to the side like so. Okay, so that's just the bottom of his little jaw coming right around like this. And from here, let's think about where his eyes are gonna go. So this eye, in fact, let's draw the lines like this, like we do when we draw our own cartoons. Let's draw out the, the size of the eyes. And so he's gonna have these huge eyes and they're going to come in toward the middle like this much. So now all we have to do is draw in the curves. So let's go from here. Let's make a nice circle that comes out. Now this is flatter and then curves out toward the eye. And then his eyeball is gonna be right in here, like the brown of his eye, filling up all this space. I'll draw a little uh, reflection here and then this will be the black of his eye. So let's color that in with black, well, with pencil. And then around that, this is gonna be brown. So I'll just faintly shade that area here. Nice. Okay, on the other side, same thing. So we're gonna make this eye coming from the side. I've got a bit of a curve here coming in toward and then down and then it bumps out a bit over his like face area and then curves out like this. And then we have a nice round curve that'll connect up the rest here, just like so. And again, we're gonna draw the brown part of his eye, nice little circle here. And then the reflection, nice and close here and then the black part of his eyeball, just filling in the middle. And it always looks so much better once you color it. When you don't color these in, I feel like they look like um, creepy or something. All right, so there's his eyes. Ha -ha. Very cute. All right, so let's do his mouth next. And if I'm gonna look at the, at the actual picture of this guy, you can see that his smile is gonna come up at this side, it's as high as his eyeball, and at this side, it's down a bit. So I'm gonna make sure that's what I do. So I'm gonna come down a bit on this side, and I'm gonna come up toward his eyeball on that side. So this gives him, you know, when you draw cartoon characters, if you draw the mouth a little bit off to the side crooked, it just makes it look a little more uh, excitable or cheerful. And then he's gonna have an open mouth, just like that. And you can see his little teeth at the bottom. So I could erase that so we could see the teeth line because otherwise we're going to lose that line just like so and then the teeth at the bottom and then this part is going to be shady because it's inside his mouth like so all right so now we've got um 
the eyeballs floating in space. So the first thing we need to do is draw his eyelid, which is going to be just this little curvy line here. And then we're going to draw his face coming around underneath. So this is going to go out and down like this. So there we have eyelid and face. Great. Same thing on the top. Let's draw his eyelid first. It's just going to curve around skinny little line like so. Okay, so we've got his eyelid. Now we're going to make his face. So this is where it's going to come inside the, um, the square now. Everything here is going to start to edge inwards. This is where I said before that it's narrower at the top than at the bottom. So just sketching lines in here to remind me that this outside of the square is going to be too big. So we have this eyelid. So let's come in um, sort of a third of the way and let's draw a rainbow shape that's going to go up to the top of my box and then down towards his nose and eyes like this. So that's like the edge of his head. And if I erase these square lines, you can see that line better. Just coming up and then down. Then we have a um, little, a little distance in the top of his head. So nice little dome, just like that little dome. And then we'll do his other eye. Same idea. We'll draw the eyelid. So just a little line comes around and touches. And then we're going to have this bigger line from here, like a rainbow up and over and back toward his eye. That's a little too big. That's better. And then just a little dome here that connects it together. All right, it's looking pretty good. Lots of extra sketch lines in here, but you get the idea. So let's just finish the bottom of this eyelid. So it just comes under like so, and then it connects back to his face. Great, so since he's really happy where he's gonna have like little smile lines, one there and one up there, and that's it for the face. All right, you will see how beautiful this is when we come back in with our marker lines, because it will eliminate all these extra little sketch lines. Oh, and he has spots. We might as well just right draw those in now too. There's three across the middle here, and this one's a bit bigger, and these ones are gonna be sort of brown. And then we've got some fainter ones coming down this way, a fainter one, and even fainter ones there. Great. Okay, so now let's go on to this flipper because it's in the foreground. What I mean is it's closer to us than the other parts of his body. So we're gonna start right here. We're gonna go out. This is way easier than the face, by the way. We're just gonna basically follow this shape that we made before, only we're gonna make it a little flipperish. So it's gonna have um, some extra bumps in it, just like that. And then this has like a little shoulder. And then we can draw uh, this foot. So let's go from here, make his little bit of a leg, just like that. And then we'll come back this way. We'll make around his flipper, out like so, and back into there. Great. Now let's draw his shell. So we'll go from here. We're going to go behind his flipper. We're going to go up and over until we get to here. That's the very top of his shell. Now we'll go back and we'll draw the edge line of the shell. That is the corner part, like the just before it turns underneath his body, just like that. So then we can draw the shell itself. So um, underneath here, he's going to have like, this is squishy stuff. It's squishy. It's very tender. This is his neck, his little, um, like his little wrinkly neck, <laughs> soft, tissuey, fleshy neck. And then this is all soft tissue. But then we have the shell. So we're going to draw like a little pointing up toward his face, a little peak, and then a curve underneath his leg, and then that connects up to the shell. Same thing over here from this leg. We're just gonna draw like a circle around his leg because his leg is coming out of his shell. And then we can pick up the shell here and draw down toward the bottom and then back up. So this is all the hard bottom shell. And then we're gonna draw more soft tissue over here. So let's bring that neck in like so. And then let's make his other flipper. So I just drew like a little shoulder, kind of like this one. Now I'm gonna go over and down to here. I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna grab a little more shoulder like that. And then I'll come close like this and in. And then see how I made a little bump there? I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna come over, make a little bump, and then in, and then down, 
and then the, the edge of his little flipper. Great. So these flippers also have um, spots on them. That one's a pretty big spot. And then two spots like this. I'm just drawing circles. These do not have to be very particular at all. They just have to kind of be, I'm following, you hear that big truck? There's a big truck. Oh, truck. Yeah, it's a truck going down my street. All right. And then uh, also some little spots on this one. And these are the bottom sides of his flippers. So the spots are going to be like matching his skin tone, but then you can just see a couple of these darker spots that are on like the side that faces the sky usually. And then this foot, same thing, spots all around here. These ones are going to be those dark reddish spots also because this part of his foot is um, the way he's swimming. You can see the top of his foot, not the bottom. So these ones will be rusty colored when we color them. So I'm just going to do the drawing part today. I'm not going to color it for you, I think. You can do that in another video if you really want me to. All right, and then we just have to add some detail here on his shell after we put some spots on his back flipper. All right, so in this part of the shell, it's just going to be like um, around this part, there's like a line that goes up and under like this, and then it gets divided up into like sections. So you just make little sections of that. And then there's going to be a line that comes down like this and a line that comes all the way down to his foot. And this one's going to come over and then we're going to have, um, another line. See where this one ended up here. We're just going to have a line that comes along the edge of this big shell piece. And we have connecting here, connecting here from this one. Curve that this way. I'm just looking at the picture uh, and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> this is just the body section and I'm being picky, but I don't think you need to be. So these guys kind of point away from each other. And then this one has like a curve shape here. Awesome. All right. So that's all of the bottom shell sections for squirt. And that is how you draw squirt. So now I'm going to go back over this with my Sharpie. And I'm going to do that in time lapse. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me draw a squirt today. And I hope you drew him too. And I would love it if you would comment on this video. Tell me which other, tell me which other characters you'd like me to draw.